I heard we were going to test an aristocratic $45,000 European luxury model with a pearl walnut dash, Connolly leather interior, and aluminum coachwork. <laughs> Images of Jaguar and Mercedes-Benz came to mind. But I guess wrong. The Range Rover is claimed to be tough enough to tame the world's wildest terrain. You'd expect a vehicle like that to be long on ugly and short on frills, but that's not the case. Range Rovers are not only engineered for exploring uncharted territory, they're also designed to look good when they go to town. Sport utility vehicles have come a long way in the past few years, but when it comes to luxury, this Range Rover is still the king of the hill with amenities like Conley leather seats and Burlwood dash. Eight-way adjustable seats with this uniquely shaped control knob, a standard AM-FM cassette stereo with seven speakers and optional CD player, power windows, fold-down armrests, four-speed automatic overdrive transmission, and a range selector for the transfer case are also included. Other nice touches are an aluminum body, carpeted rear cargo area, electrically heated windshield, tailgate window, and side view mirrors, optional sunroof, toolkit for emergency repairs, and rear seats that easily fold up to increase cargo space from 36 to 70 cubic feet. Ten years ago, equipment like this was unheard of in any other four-wheel drive vehicle. Today, just about every sport utility manufacturer offers sumptuous interior appointments and exterior styling that's much more inspired than the Range Rover's 20-year-old British design. The Range Rover also comes up short in fuel economy. It's rated at 13 miles per gallon city and 16 miles per gallon highway. So just what does this Rolls-Royce of off-road vehicles do to justify its $42,400 price tag? If you never take a Range Rover off-roading, you'll never find out. On the highway, I found performance to be adequate but unimpressive. The Range Rover has enough power to tow a 5,500-pound trailer, although not at a very rapid pace. Even without anything hitched to its rear bumper, the 4,400-pound Range Rover lumbers from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 12.2 seconds and takes 18.4 seconds to travel the quarter mile, reaching a speed of 72.4 miles per hour. Normal on-highway ride is equally adequate and equally unimpressive. In fact, under some circumstances, the Range Rover gives you an unsettling feeling that the chassis isn't really connected to its wheels. It isn't until you throw it into a turn at a good rate of speed that the vehicle's true handling capability becomes apparent. There may be a lot of body roll, yet up to the limit of tire adhesion, the Range Rover goes right where it's pointed. But it's where the highway ends and the mud, ruts, rocks, and water hazards begin that the Range Rover really shines. Part of the vague feel on the highway is a result of the suspension's relative softness and extremely long travel. These characteristics turn into a big plus when you go off-roading because they keep all four wheels on the ground and allow you to traverse rough terrain without being bounced into the next county. And with a minimum of eight inches of ground clearance, there aren't too many counties with terrain that a Range Rover can't tame. Combined with very short front and rear overhangs, the Range Rover's tall stance enables it to travel through water 20 inches deep and to climb hills and obstacles with approach angles of up to 30 degrees. When it comes to climbing hills, the Range Rover doesn't seem to have any trouble clawing its way to the top. Power is supplied by a 3.9 liter aluminum V8, which is a derivative of the 215 cubic inch Buick engine of the early 60s. In its current form, the Rover engine is rated at 178 horsepower at 4,750 RPM and 220 foot-pounds of torque at 3,000 RPM. That's not a lot of power, but the gearing of the transmission and full-time four-wheel drive differentials offers enough torque multiplication to compensate. The Range Rover will take you anywhere you want to go, even though it is considered a luxury vehicle. It will also stop you from going too far. Four-wheel disc brake brings the Rover to a safe, perfectly controlled stop from 60 miles per hour in 129 feet. 
the Range Rover gets my thumbs up for its outstanding off-road capabilities, anti-lock braking system, and interior appointments. It gets thumbs down for its vague handling on the highway, overly complicated heating air conditioning system, poor gas mileage, and high price. Overall, the Range Rover has a lot to offer, including a three-year, 42,000-mile full vehicle warranty. But for $42,400, you can buy two Ford Explorers and still have enough change left to pay for a vacation. That seems like a better deal to me. For Road Test Magazine, I'm Dave Emanuel. The Range Rover's a very respected truck with a sterling pedigree, but you've got to want English ambiance pretty bad to lay out $42,000 for the base model. Our test truck had the optional $1,500 sunroof and a $750 CD changer for a total as tested of $44,650. But Rover sells over 4,000 sport utilities each year in the U.S., so there is a small but real market for ultra-luxury sport utilities. Well, we're going to be 